Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a unbagging of a brand new coach bag, and I haven't been this excited about a new coach bag in quite some time. The joy and excitement I feel for this bag rivals the joy and excitement I have felt for some of my other luxury unboxings and reveals I have done lately. I don't know if you ever noticed my jewelry, but today I am sporting a Tiffany hardware, I think, ball bead necklace, and then also uh, some Tiffany bracelets. I've got my return to Tiffany bracelet on as well as my hardware ball bracelet. Not too long ago, well, I guess it was quite a while ago, probably in the last year or two, I basically sold my full-on bead ball necklace <laughs> and I exchanged it for this one because when I put that around my neck, it just felt like I was being claustrophobic, like it was smothering me around my neck, but I really like how this littler ball pendant looks. I have a few other Tiffany pieces, and you may be saying, why are you talking about Tiffany on a handbag unboxing video? Well, I'm going to get to that real quick, but let me show you my other two Tiffany items that I have in my jewelry collection. The first is a necklace, and this is by Elsa Peretti. It is a teardrop shaped necklace, and this is beautiful, although it drives me a bit crazy because when I wear it, it flips over constantly and the other side is equally as beautiful but it tends to do this and twist so i don't wear it much but the reason i bought this necklace was because the first real gift my husband ever gave me that was jewelry was this bracelet and again it is elsa Pretty, and it's just this dainty little bracelet with teardrops on it so that is my entire Tiffany jewelry collection. I'm not a huge Tiffany jewelry collector. Probably good for me or I would really have no money. But this coach bag is in Tiffany blue. Look at it. You can't even see it yet, but it is going to be fabulous. I just have a very strong feeling about it. So let's open up the bag. Woo! I've got papers flying everywhere. So I did expand my Cassie 19 collection once more. I actually only have three Cassie 19s right now, which I've sold a fair amount. I can't remember how many I had at my pinnacle of Cassie 19 collecting. I wanna say it was around eight, but I sold most of them. I have my three favorites, which are a color block, that has the faded blush in it, a sport red one, and a chalk. I've always liked the solid colored ones, and I recently sold my Lake Cassie 19, which is more of a, well, it's a lot like lake water. It's a beautiful murky blue color. I sold that one to a friend of mine, and this one popped up, and I thought, I've just pared down my Cassie 19 collection. I shouldn't buy it, right? Wrong. I had to buy it. It is fabulous. I don't know how much I'll wear this color, but let's go ahead and unwrap her all the way. While I'm unwrapping, let me tell you a little story. The first one of these that I got, I also got from Macy's and I unboxed it in my car. And when I looked at it, I discovered that the C on the turn lock was sewn on crooked. And I took some pictures of it and I took a picture of it next to my sport red Cassie 19, because like I said, I've had, I've probably had at least eight to 10 of these Cassie 19s in my possession over the past few years. I have never seen a crooked C on the turn lock on any of those bags. And so when I saw it on <laughs> this one, I was so upset because I really, 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 really wanted to show you guys this gorgeous bag, and I'm still unwrapping. So as you can see in the overlay photos that I put in, it just was a little bit off. It wasn't a lot, but I paid full price for this bag from Macy's, and I got it 
with Rakuten or Rakuten benefits. So I got 10% cash back, which was $29.50. And then I also was able to use some Macy's reward money. And so that brought the price down by, oh, let's see, about $60. So this is now like a 230 plus tax dollar bag instead of a $295 plus tax bag. I promise I'm gonna hold her up here so where you can really get a good look here in just a second. I don't know if this color will go on sale. It probably will, most coach items do. But I do know that when I saw the Fendi collection come out, and I'll put an overlay picture in here while I'm talking. When I saw the Fendi collection come out and I saw that some people bought the satin one, I thought, oh my God, I could never have a satin bag that cost that much money. It is, I mean, it's just, it would drive me crazy. I would be so worried I would mess that bag up. And they came out also with, I believe, a Celeria version of the baguette in the Tiffany blue. And I thought, well, if I got one, it would be that one. But oh my gosh, it's so expensive. And I don't feel like this color is super versatile. So when Coach came out with this color, and the color is called Faded Blue, I sort of felt like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I tried different beds and then I found one that was just right but instead of different beds it was different handbags so I've almost got her ready I haven't got the chain out yet hang on how perfect is it to pair this beautiful shade of blue with silver and not just any silver but a shiny Tiffany type silver it is gorgeous the color is stunning I think the sea lock is straight from what I can tell. The other one was definitely crooked, but let's look at the inside. That was one spot, and I, I don't have a photo of this on the one I returned, but you can see that this plaque is, is centered very well right there in the middle of the leather. And on the one that I returned, it wasn't. Also, you can see that the turn lock is vertical right here. And the other one that I returned, it was like, it had a gap, like it couldn't rest straight up and down without a gap. It didn't rest in the turn lock slot, basically. So this one, she's looking pretty good. Let me get out my spectacles so I can check her over because as you saw, I unwrapped this bag with you. I have not had a chance to see her in all her glory yet. The pebbled leather on the Cassie 19 is really forgiving. If there are any dents on it or any little imperfections, most of the time you can just rub them right out. The weak point of this bag is in the glazing, and I've gotten ones directly from the store that have cracks right here or right there, and I'm telling you, it is inevitable that that is going to happen to the majority of these bags, but I have found a way to repair them. I use just a little bit of E6000 glue in the crack. And then sometimes I put just a tiny bit of Feebling's dark brown edge coat over the top with a toothpick. And that does fix it so where it's almost undiscernible or indiscernible. And I'm looking at this one, the glazing is applied very well. I'm not really seeing any issues. Hooray, hurrah, gosh, <laughs> I can't say anything right today, but this is so pretty, guys. I mean, look at it. Oh, I was thinking about pairing this with a whole variety of silver chains that I have in my collection, but man, I am loving it with the Cassie chain. These Cassie 19 chains are very substantial and I recently gave up my only silver chain to Cassie 19, and that was in the sand taupe signature combo. I just wasn't reaching for it, and I have a lot of taupe bags. So when this one popped up with the silver hardware and being a solid color, which is what I'm kind of digging right now, oh my gosh, guys, I just got goosebumps. It is really beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's look inside. If you're not familiar with the Cassie 19, it has compartments. It's got a front compartment, a middle compartment, and then also a back slip compartment. And within the middle compartment, there is a zippered pocket 
The other two compartments are truly just slip pockets. The bag does expand though. You can see there are gussets on the side. And so you can really fit quite a bit in this little gem. This is just so stunning. I can't quit looking at it. So if you see my eyes going this way, it's because I'm looking at this bag and trying to admire her with my poor over 40 year old eyesight that just does not see all that well. I want to just ogle this bag. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I haven't given it the smell test yet. Oh my goodness. She smells like leather. I love it when bags smell like leather. So regarding the hang tag, a lot of times I will do a little charm on the hang tag. This would be a really fun hang tag to stamp with a silver stamp. Like for instance, perhaps when I go to coach next time, I'll get a silver butterfly stamped on this hang tag. And let me show you why. I have a little box of tricks here with different charms that I have had on hang tags over the years. I don't really have many silver options. The only two I have are this little feather, and I did have this hanging either on a Cassie or a Cassie 19 at one point. And then my friend Amy from Amy Michelle Luxury just sent me this cute little butterfly charm. So I'm thinking, how cute would it be to have a little butterfly stamp on one side of the hang tag and the butterfly hanging from the other side? Now, looking at this, it might be better to remove the butterfly from the clip and have it hanging up higher. Or actually, I think I might just remove the links and have it dangling directly from the clip, and then it will be just sheer perfection. But that is so pretty with it being sort of an iridescent shade. I think Amy finds these cute little charms on AliExpress, but I'm not sure. They may be from Amazon. I think she had a few of these, so they must have come in a bigger pack. But I think that's so stinking cute. I haven't talked about the Cassie 19 in a while, but it used to come out in so many colors. And right now, I believe your color choices are this color, which is faded blue, and then there's black, chalk, and sport red. Recently, there has also been a flax one, which is a golden color. And then I have also seen a signature combo that has rust on the top and signature on the bottom. Those are the ones that are coming to me right off the top of my head. The other colors that you may see on the pre-love market were from at least a year or two ago. But what is out there right now, it's very rarely on sale. I recently posted a chalk version on my community page that was marked down to 206. And that was a pretty darn good deal and it sold out really quickly. So if you ever do see one on sale and you wanna snag one up, make sure to grab it quickly. This particular colorway I have only found on Macy's.com, so it may be a department store exclusive. If so, lucky for Macy's because I don't think they're going to have any trouble selling this gem. Let me try her on real quick and then I'll let you go. Generally with the Cassie 19, I will pick two straps. I don't usually wear all three, but I might have to make an exception for this one. We'll just see. I'm going to take off the short grab handle strap and look at it this way. I would probably wear it this way the most, but it's also really fun to leave the chain strap on it. And by the way, I am 5'8 and I am about 148 pounds and I've got that basically in the middle. I tend to put the grab handle up in the front so I can grab it like that, but it will fall forward if I decide to wear the bag with the strap. So there it is with the chain strap. That brings it from day to night, definitely. And of course, if you wanted just to do it with the top handle, it's very comfortable this way too. I probably would wear it this way, just grabbing it to go from the car into the store or into somebody's house. I mean, that's just so easy. The chains on these bags are a little heavy and I like the weightiness of them. But when Coach does bags with chains that are crossbody, they tend to make them hollow or make them out of aluminum. 
And with the Cassie 19, they don't do that because since the chain's short, it's just not all that heavy. This is the other way you could wear it. You could just do the top handle with the crossbody. And this is a more casual look, but it is very functional as well. This video is already getting a bit long, but I wanted to show you the Cassie 19 chain in relation to some of these other silver chains. Some of them are from Samorga. That's this one here. This one is from Next Fashion. And this one's from Samorga, and this one's from Amazon. And you can see that the middle one, which is the Cassie 19 chain, it definitely has a slightly softer finish. It's not quite as shiny. And because of that, I feel like it matches sterling silver jewelry better than any of the other options. Here is an example up close of the shinier silver versus the more muted, softer sterling silver. So again, I had a whole video idea of just changing out the silver straps on this bag, but I feel like the chain that it came with is just stunning. So unless I'm going to wear it crossbody with a chain, which I can do real quick, let's put on this gorgeous chain from Next Fashion to wear as a crossbody. Next Fashion puts out really nice quality chains, better than Amazon. They have better clasps. They have better chain. And I really enjoy their products. You can get them whatever length you want. This is a high crossbody. I think I had this chain cut for a Prada re-edition in nylon before I sold that bag. So now this strap is bagless, but you can see you can definitely wear this bag crossbody with a silver chain. If for some reason the strap that comes with it isn't dressy enough for your occasion, here is the crossbody Samorga option that I really love too. So I think that's it in a nutshell. I hope you have enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing me play with my new bag. I love this bag. I'm so glad I got it. And if you want to know the true color, this is pretty darn close to the true color. It may be just a slight bit brighter. Those photos that I showed earlier where I had my sport red sitting right next to it, that is the closest to the true color that you're going to get. Here is a Tiffany blue dust bag. And I'm telling you that this color is the exact same shade. It may not appear that way because the camera is looking at this texture versus the leather texture, but it is the exact same shade. So if you like Tiffany blue, go buy yourself a Cassie. I'll link it down in the description box. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. Is the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.